hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple and cool tips and tricks inside of after effects you can get this project files from patreon you can support me over there links are available in the description and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff in advance then don't forget to check out my udemy courses as well links are available in the description and if you're new to this this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any much more time let's get started So first of all here we are in adobe after effects let's create a new composition and we are going to call it as main animation Width is 1920, height is 180 and frame rate I'm going to choose 60 seconds so our animation is going to be very smooth and duration I'm going to choose 30 and background color let's choose black color simply hit ok and hit ok. Then we will go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Then I'm going to open my calculator and we will do some calculations so 1920 divided by uh, 4 is going to be 480. Similarly, if I choose 1080 divided by 3 and hit enter, I'll get 360, which means I need to create another composition. So hit control N and we will call it as box 01. Okay, and we are going to choose this value over there. So uh, for this, I'm going to choose 480. So let's type 480 over there. And over here, we will type 360. So let's try 360 over there. Okay, so we are getting this kind of box. After that, I'm going to select my rounded rectangle and simply double click to create this rounded rectangle. Go to this one, go to the rectangle path, and let's go increase the roundness somewhere around like this. Okay, now I'm going to select my text tool and we are going to type our text and for the font I'm going to choose Poffins font and I'm going to choose black color and now we will type our text I'm going to type F first let's select this and press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press S for scaling option and let's scale it like this and let's zoom it over here hit ctrl D and let's type o hit ctrl d let's move this over here and let's type u select this hit ctrl d move this over here and let's convert type r okay so basically we are going to type 4 let's select this f and let's move this over here select this o move this over here let's move this over here and let's move this over here okay so this is the going to be the distance between these alphabets you can adjust this according to your needs for this tutorial i'm going to adjust it like that only now let's select all of them and press p for position create one keyframe then press s for scaling option create another keyframe and hit u now after that let's go to around one second and i'm going to select this f and let's increase the size of this to somewhere around like this and I'll go to the align tab and I'm going to choose align horizontally. Then I'm going to select this O over here as well as this U. Let's try to bring them closer to this. Similarly, uh, select this R. Let's keep it over there and let's bring this O to somewhere around like that. Okay. So if you see, we are getting this kind of structure. Then I'm, let's go somewhere around over here like that first this again we will take a gap of one second at this point i am going to create keyframe on each and every one similarly at this point make sure to create keyframe on each and every one okay so first this and then we will get this then zoom in over here and let's go to around three second and now we will simply copy first keyframe so hit ctrl c ctrl v their first keyframe so if you see this now, first we will get this, then we will get this. Then again up to 4 seconds, I am not going to go do anything. Select all of them, create one keyframe again. Go to around 5 seconds, make sure to create all keyframe. Go to around 5 seconds, 
and this time i am going to select this o and we are going to increase the size of this so select this f first and let's see at this point how much uh, amount we took which is 113 so similarly at 5 seconds i am going to select this o and i am going to make this 113 okay similarly go to the align tab and choose align horizontally uh, this time i'm going to select this f and i'll move this over here i'll select this u and i'll move this uh, over here near the r similarly make sure to create keyframe on each and every whole part take a gap of one second create keyframes go to around seven seconds and again we will copy the first keyframe so hit ctrl c ctrl v ctrl c ctrl v ctrl c ctrl v okay like that again take a gap of 10 uh, one second select all keyframes go to around 9 second select this u and let's make this 113 again go to the align tab and align it horizontally and this time I'm going to select this R and let's move this closer to this. Then select this, move closer to this O. And again, create keyframe on each and every portion, like that. So if you see this now, we will get something like this. Take a gap of one second over here as well. Select all of them, create keyframes. Go to around one second, like that. Simply Control C, Control V first keyframes and now at last let's take a gap of one second at 12 select all of them create another keyframe each over here like that go to around 30 seconds select this and let's make this 113 go to the align tab choose align horizontally select select this one let's move this over here like this or you can select this f over here as well similarly select this and let's move this over here okay like that and create all keyframes okay like this go to around 14 frames select all of them create keyframe go to around 15 frames like this fifth i mean 15 seconds copy Control C, Control V first keyframes like that. Go to around 16 seconds, select all of them and enable the keyframe. Okay, and if I hit N over here, as you guys can see, we will after the end over here, we are gonna get this animation in the form of loop. Now, what can I do? I can select those keyframes and I can hit F9. I can go to the graph editor, I can select this graph, zoom in a little bit, by holding shift I'll move one handle over here and I'll move one handle over here. So automatically all handles are going to be like that. So now if I say this, I'll get this kind of structure. Now I can by holding alt, I can bring all of this to 10 seconds as well. Okay, so I'll bring this up to 10. Okay, by holding alt and I'll hit N over there. So if you see this now, we are getting something like this. Okay, and this animation is ending at 10, so I'll simply right click and I'll choose Stream Com to work area. Let's go to the main animation and bring this box over here. And let's go inside this box and press Ctrl Y and let's create some red color background. Okay, and hit U. And let's bring this downwards. Now let's select this box. Let's go to the end of this composition. So hit O and simply right click and right click, go to the time and choose time enable V mapping and hit page up button one time. So you will get go one frame backward, create another keyframe, and let's delete this keyframe. Then alt click on this stopwatch and let's type loop out expression over there. Okay, so what will happen if I increase this? After that, again, it will start doing the first animation. And now we will go to the start, we will go to the align tab, and let's go to the align left. Hit Ctrl D, and let's by holding Ctrl move this over here. 
hit control d let's move this over here hit control d and let's move this over here so now if you see we are getting this kind of animation over there now uh let's go somewhere around over here at this point over here if you see let's go over here hit u at this point f is happening so let's select this over here and by holding alt i'll move this over here alt open square bracket i'll trim up to this then at this point let's go over here let's see where is o happening at this point so let's select this and by holding alt i'll trim up to this i'll go inside this hit key to go forward and let's see at this point u is appearing so by holding alt open square bracket i'll move this over here okay like that similarly let's go over here at this point r is happening so let's by holding alt move this over here if i go to the start by hitting ctrl a i'll select all of them and with the help of open square bracket i'll move this over here and if i see this now animation in quarters resolution i'll get this kind of structure over there okay now let's do one thing i'm going to take a gap of 10 10 frames and let's move this over here let's move this over here and let's move this over here so if you see this now we are getting something like this now let's go to the start and let's move this over here like this okay now hit u right click new and create one null object select all of these boxes and by holding ctrl d i'll create duplicate and let's bring them at the bottom and let's change the color of this one to yellows now let's select all the uppermost boxes and i'm going to make it apparent with this null let's select this null and press p for position create one keyframe and if you guys know that this animation was for in the form of loop at 10 second so i'll go to the 10 second over here and i'm going to move this null object in such a way that this thing should go out of this composition like that okay and then when my current time indicator is at 10 second i'm going to select all of the yellow boxes and i'll make it apparent with this none okay and i'll alt click on this and i'm going to call it as loop out expression and hit n over there and now if i see this animation i'm gonna get this animation over here and i'll get some alternations okay so this is the first one now let's select all of them and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as 01 now i'll select this 01 and i'll enable this icon i'll hit ctrl d and i'll try to bring this over here like that so similarly i'll hit ctrl d and i'll try to bring this over here like this and if i want alternations over here i can again again adjust this like 20 frames let's select this one and move this over here go to 40 frames select this one and move this over here and by hitting ctrl a select all of them and let's bring them at the start so we will get this kind of structure okay so as you guys can see we are getting this kind of structure and even after 10 frames if you see this properly this animation is going to be in the form of loop now let's go to the box and hit u select all of this shape layer and hit ctrl d and let's bring this at the top and this time i'm going to delete this fill i don't need that and i'm going to add black color for the stroke and let's choose stroke to 8 pixels after that select this and press s and let's decrease the scale of this and let's make this full resolution and i think the stroke width is too much so let's make this 4 and then go inside this go to the add and i'm going to choose trim path then go to the frame path and let's make this end value to 80 like that then go to the start and let's create one keyframe at offset and hit u and this animation is in the form of loop at 10 
so let's make this one complete rotation over there like that and now after all these things are done i am going to select this red solid background and let's hide hide this and now if i see this structure over here i'm going to get this animation like this in the form of loop i can select this shape layer which is over here and i can go to the search option and i'll search for size and we have the size over here let's unlink this and i'm going to simply type minus 10 over here like this and at this point as well i'm going to type minus 10 and if you see this now we will get the gap between these options like that and this is how we will get this animation continuously in the form of loop